Hey, I'm Eduardo. I'm a junior at NHS. I'm not anything special, pretty normal. I get good grades, and my friends are pretty cool. What's up, Eddie? And even my parents aren't too bad. We, we love you, mijo. I also do a little swimming. Actually, some recruiters have been checking me out. I'm hoping to get a scholarship for college, so my parents don't have to worry too much about tuition. Last week was a championship meet, and it was awesome. Our team owned it. And I set a school record in freestyle. Someone from the team decided to throw a party, and it was crazy. Everyone from school was there, including the hot girl from my science class. Hey, Annie. <laughs> People were acting so crazy, I had to take them pictures, man. I may have had a little too much fun. It probably wasn't the smartest thing to take pictures. But then, I got really dumb and posted them on my page. It's just what everyone does. And I didn't even think to use my privacy settings. So once I posted them, everyone could see them and anyone could share them. I found that out when I was called to the principal's office and saw some of the pictures from my page sitting on her desk. Coach was there too, and he was really disappointed. It seems like one of my so-called friends had sent them the pictures, but which one? It could have been anybody. My ex-girlfriend, who's always mad at me for something. One of my teammates, who seemed kind of jealous. It could have even been some guy I spoke to once in the ninth grade. I guess it doesn't even matter, because I'm the one who put the pictures up there in the first place. Now my principal's saying that I violated the student-athlete code of conduct. I signed it at the beginning of the year, and it's zero tolerance. Meaning, no more chances. I'm off the team, goodbye scholarship. On top of that, I got suspended. I've never seen my parents so mad. Even my teammates won't talk to me. Some of them were in those pictures, and they've been called into the principal's office too. At first, I was really mad at whoever sent the pictures. What business was it of theirs? But then, I realized that as soon as I posted the pictures online, I made it their business. It was really all me. I was two kinds of stupid. I was the one who broke the rules. And then I posted the pictures online. It was one mistake after another. So that's my story. I used to be this kid. And now I'm this kid. And this was all it took.